So for those of you that don't know um, what we've been walking through, we've been in a journey of possessing our land. We believe the Lord is giving us a land to possess, a place where we can continue to fellowship without hindrance, a place where God can build his own people. River of Life is not about building, it's about building the body of Christ. Amen? Do we get that? It's about the body of Christ. So everything that we have, we use it for the building of the body of Christ. Amen. So this is the property. The, the one, one more back. Just want to show. You're skipping. Yeah, that image. That's it. I wanted you all to see the picture of that image. Yeah, after. So that's the property. It's on Park Row. If you drive by it, feel free to prophesy over it. Don't go in without a hat, you know, construction hat. Don't, don't go in without some appointment. So maybe, maybe you need to reach out to me or Brad Falu or Brad Peter or Brad Kola. Say, hey, I want to stop by so that the, the, the guys there don't chase you out. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So that's what God is doing for us. It's right on Park Road, opposite the Walmart. And there's a lot of things going on there that we trust that God is going to help us to reach that community. Amen. Next slide. So this is the current timelines that we've been working with. And some of the things that you've seen that has turned green are the things that we've achieved. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Lord. So we started this journey from December till now. In December, we had those conversations with the bank. We got the approval and we've been moving forward with the loan. There are things that we need to do. There's things that banks need to do. And you will hear me talk about that. Maybe I should just say that now. Before September, we need to be, we're shooting to get to the property by September. Praise the Lord. Now, I know what the timeline says, but our goal is September. Praise the Lord. And so there's so many things that we need to get done, and there's so many things that have been done today. So if you look at the first quarter, we've been able to pull down a lot of things. You know, they've started putting the sheet rock. They've done a lot of wiring. Sprinkler system is in place now. We've connected to the mud. We've done a lot of work. Right now, the reason why you see in June we are still in yellow is because it's still work in progress. They started hanging the sheet rock this last week, but it's going to take a while. But if you go there right now, there are very few spaces that is left to be covered up. We still have to wait for an inspector to come in before they close up the sheet rock. So and so in the next phase is where we are going. There's the next phase is very important. It's like the final eel. Because this next phase is the final piece where they're going to do a lot of finishings colors. So if you think you know better than in terms of doing colors, let me know so that I don't paint the wall gray. And you come back and say, well, you didn't tell me. I'm telling you now. <laughs> if you know about paint, if you know about interior decorations, these are the times where we're going to finish this last phase. They're going to be putting the showers and the, the bedroom, the tiles, all that stuff is going to come together in this last phase. So we need a lot of prayers and participation. Are we all together? And I was saying that before September, we also need to do our own financial contribution setup, right? If I use the word setup. In our finances, so we pay, the, we pay the contractors draws as they are making progress. But at the same time, we're looking at that, that roadmap of our finances. We like, we need to have at least just rough estimate 200,000 somewhere before the end of September. And God can do it. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. There has not been any need that we have faced that the Lord has not provided. So the Lord will provide it. I'm just letting you know that these are the things that we need to get in place. So that by the time we get to September, we are able to complete certain items that we want to make sure it is ready before we move in. Amen. So there are things that the bank is doing, there are things that we are doing. And making sure that everything comes together by September. So the roadmap says December, but there's, there's conversations that have been going on and the contractor feels that we can get it done by September. In it all, though, we all need to be ready. We all need to be prepared. We all need to be engaged. We need to stay engaged. Are we all together? All right, next slide. We're going to give room for question or comment. Or so if you point your phone up there, you can join the the group where we are posting a lot of pictures. You can scan the QR code 
Or you can send a text and then we can add you to the group. There's a lot of videos, pictures that we always put on that page, you know. Do that. Now, I also put there, if you want to contribute, it's important that we remember all our pledges. And when you are giving your pledges, the account department is managing our funds, let's target building funds so that that way they are giving a proper account. So anytime we call them, they don't tell me that, Larry, you don't have money. <laughs> if, you, if you are giving a check, please also target. Target building funds is important for us so that we manage our accounts properly. Praise the Lord. Okay, now questions before... We pray and we go. Anyone has a question? Okay, so I'm taking one for the team, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so worst scenario, if we don't move in September, what's the next expected time or date for moving? Well, that's a good question. Can, Tony, can you go back one so that I can answer that question properly? So right now, the, the next expected target will be October. So according to our contract with the contractors, they are supposed to get everything done by October. It's binding contracts, right? And we also really want to get out there as quickly as possible so that you all see what's going on behind the scene. We are paying two places right now. We are paying for the school. We are paying using this place every Sunday. And we have a property that we cannot use. So, so you see, we are paying mortgage on that property and at the same time, we are having expenses here. So. The earlier, the better for us. And the contractors know that. So, if um, Thank you, Brother Larry, and all the elders and the pastorship. We give God the glory for what we've been able to achieve so far. Looking at the last um, quarter four, yeah. the 12th month, yeah. I know what it means to expand the kingdom. But the youth, the children, can you expand shades on what we're going to do to expand this kingdom from December 2023 and upwards? Thank Amen. you. Thank you. Good question. So the, the concept about expanding the kingdom, I kind of laid it where we started. Uh, and I want you all to listen, children and youth. We've been able to, we're not able to do a lot of things because we have to tear down and pull down, you know, every Sunday. There's very limited bonding going on. So our objective is that by the time we have a place, that means we can have more activities. We can have more fellowships together. We can create a lot of events that will bring people together to do things together and build together. So that will strengthen our fellowship and that begins to expand the kingdom. We are gonna be located at a strategic place where we have about 10 apartments surrounding us, right? About 10, yeah, about 10 apartments surrounding us. We want to stay engaged with them, but we can't do that here, right? We have to go, or somebody wants to stay behind to have conversation, we can't do that here. So the, when I'm using the word, when we're using the word, is expanding his kingdom is to make sure that we're not just doing little things, but we have that place that we can use to expand the kingdom of God. Amen. I know this is a whack question, but I'm going to ask anyway. <laughs> uh, is there plans for in the main sanctuary where the sound will have something to bounce off of so it won't work? that can be adjusted, you, you know, it helps. <laughs> yep, yep. And you see, one of the things, we, we have a company that is called Covenant. They were actually the ones that worked in um, Lakewood. They, they, they do a lot of sound engineering. So we, they are the ones doing the sound engineering for the venue. Sure. And that they will be installing, you can see, it's part of what we're going to do in this next quarter. They are part of the P team doing that. So that's a good question. Thank you. Very important. Okay. Will our schedule be the same or will it be slightly shifted in the first few months as trying to adjust? There's going to be some adjustment. But that's a very good question. There's going to be a lot of adjustments when we move there. We'll be used to the new place. There'll be youth hall. There'll be youth classrooms or children classrooms. So there's going to be some adjustments as we transition. There's going to be that transition phase. And I see that, even though I said September, we're moving in September, you'll find that between September, October, and November, there's going to be a transition phase where we're trying to settle in, understand how, what time we should get there, how to arrange, and putting a lot of things together. So there's going to be a transition. Good. Are, one day, are Wednesday fellowships going to be there? 
Wednesday fellowship is, and is Wednesday fellowship going to be restored back? Yes. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Yeah, there's going to be Wednesday fellowship. We have a venue now that allows for that, right? Um, we're going to be creative. There's a lot of opportunities for us in that place. So, good. Good question, David. Yeah. I just want to know if there will be any space for a daycare facility inside the building. Okay. So, that's a very good question. We dodged the bullet. So, we considered it. We considered having a daycare in the pro property. But there were a lot of... Are you saying during the week or Sundays? So that I get that right. During the week, she's asking about it. When she used the word daycare, my mind went to during the week. But, so we considered it. But when we invited them to come and have that conversation, we realized that there was a lot of red lines that we have to cross. And in terms of um, insurance, um, um, what's it called, city, all those plumbing, all those things. There were a lot of things that, you know, each classroom must have a plumbing system. Each, there were so many things that was not. So we're like, if we bring that in now, we're going to have to slow down the project completely. Like we're going back to the drawing board. So that's why we put a hold on that. Like we can't, we can't do the same at the same time. But let, as we move in there and the Lord begins to give us opportunity, because the first thing is to move in. Remember we put it in one of our slides. We move in and we we, when we possess the land now, we can begin to do a lot of stuff. But that's a good question. Yes, um, I was hoping if there is like an architectural diagram or plan to see the, the, layout. Yeah, the layout of the play. And I think it will help answer a lot of questions like where is, where, what is what. Okay, good. Yes. We, we have that and I will also post it on the, on the, we'll try and post a copy of it on the WhatsApp group. But thank you, that's a very good question. We have so many classrooms and sanctuary, and we can also put some, maybe the next time we do an update, it will be more pictorial around those kind of images. We're working on a 3D design. Actually, I would prefer to have used a 3D model to do this presentation, but the moment you say those kind of things again, it goes beyond our budget, like, oh, do we want to spend $10,000 getting a 3D model? <laughs> so, it, <laughs> we have to always juggle that, but but there's a good question. We'll get, you, we'll get some things online. So thank you, everyone. If you have any other questions, please be free to reach out to me, Brapita, Bracola. Any of the elders can answer your question, and we'll be willing, willing to, to um, explain to you. So let's, let's, let's give God the praise. Let's put our hands together for the Lord.